Welcome back YouTube. Apparently my memory card was being unkind to me, so I was unable to do this in one complete take. So, we're going to try to do it in two. Again, we have the British Bulldog Revolver, which deals with a particular brand of British revolver that was said to have been the one that really won the war, uh, won the West, by um, George Lehman. Tanfa, Karate Weapon of Self-Defense. Step-by-step -step knife making, you can do it by David Boy. A man that pioneered using cryogenic uh, freezing, I believe. Swordsman of the Screen from Douglas Fairbanks to Michael York. Or was Boy the one that used dendrite steel? One of the two, I can't remember. Full duty Vermonters in the Civil War. The Medieval Archer by Jim Bradbury. The Weapons and Fighting Arts of Indonesia by uh, Don F. Drager. Cat's Paws and Catapults. Uh, mechanical uh, Worlds of Nature and People, which has only certain references to weapons, but it still has some. The Making of the Roman Army from Republic to Empire by Lawrence Kepi. Or Kepe, I don't know which one of those. Um, warfare and Weapons Before the Introduction of Gunpowder, Clubs to Cannon by O.F.G. Hogue. Which was quite good. I got that at a thrift store. Warfare in the Classic World by John Wary, which is, you know, kind of ironic if you're writing a book about warfare to have the name Wary. Fire and Stone, the Science of Fortress Warfare, 1660 to 1860. This is an excellent reference if you are interested in European fortress uh, construction in the age of firearms. I still think about that book even years after having read it. Read it. Greek Fire, Poison Arrows, and Scorpion Bombs. Biological and Chemical Warfare in the Ancient World by um, Adrien Mayer. The Archaeology of Weapons, Arms and Armor from Prehistoric to the Age of Chivalry by Ewart Oakshot, which is a classic text. Principles of Guided Missiles and Nuclear Weapons, prepared by Bureau of Naval Personnel from 1959. I got that at a yard sale, I believe. The Complete Black Powder Handbook. I'm sure there are updated versions. I've had that for a very long time. I bought it used. Weapons, an international encyclopedia from 5000 BC to 2000 AD from the Diagram Group. I have reviewed this on my channel. It is the single most important reference book you can have in a weapons reference library. The Medieval Fortress. Um, castles, forts, and walled cities of the Middle Ages by J.E. Kaufman and H.W. Kaufman. I have no idea if they are a couple or they are siblings. Castles by Charles W. C. Oman. A popular science book, 21st Century Soldier, The Weaponry, Gear, and Technology of the, tw the New Century. Quite good, especially if you want to have a reference for a near-future role-playing game or piece of fiction. Crossbows, edited by um, Roger Combs. There may be an updated version for that. That's modern crossbows. Napoleonic ca um, Cavalry by Philip J. Hawthorne Thwaite, which is so English it bleeds blue blood. The N Napoleonic Infantry by the same author. Collection of Collecting Indian Knives, Identification, and Values, which was a very good reference for Neolithic hand weapons if you're into that kind of thing, which I am. Wayne Godard's $50 Knife Shop. The Chronicle, a Chronicle History of Forts and Fortresses by Martin Bryce. The 
History of Chivalry and Armor by Dr. F. Uh, Cof uh, Cotton Comp, translated by Reverend A. Lowey. This is the 1983 reprint, um, which I purchased um, sometime in the 90s, I think. Um, quite good. I've seen a reprint of just the illustrations, quite reasonably priced somewhere, but I don't know where it's available. I saw it at a discount seller. The A Collector's Guide to Swords, Daggers, and Cutlasses by Gerald Wieland. This is a very boring cover. The slip cover is somewhere else. I'm not sure. Whoops. Somewhere else. And we have Stones, a glossary um, of the construction, decoration, and use of arms and armor. A flawed book, but one of the cores of any good reference library. I would like to get mine rebound. It's kind of in sad shape. Um, 200 Years of American Firearms by uh, James E. Servan. Treasures of the Tower of London, Arms and Armor, quite useful if you are uh, a resident of the UK, because you get to go see them. Weapons, a pictorial history by Edwin Tunis, a thin volume, but a good general reference with some nice illustrations. The Arms and Armor Annual, which is actually not an annual, it was only one volume ever came out, but it was quite good and can still be found on Amazon. I recommend it. The Complete Bladesmith, Forging Your Way to Perfection by Jim Rasoulis, a man that I've had contact with myself. Very nice gentleman. He is, I believe he is now a doctor. Um, a, a book with a funky cover. H. Mueller's Guns, Pistols, and Revolvers, which is very uh, academic. You're into identifying old pistols. Um, middle uh, Studies in European Arms and Armor. The Medieval Knight at War by Brooks Robards. Cyclopedia of Rifles and Handguns, a Comprehensive Guide to Firearms by Sean Connolly. Samurai, the History of Weapons in Ancient Japan by I. Bottomley and A. P. Hopson. 100 legendary, legendary Knives, a good pictorial um, history of knife collecting. Renaissance Swordsmanship, the illustrated use of rapiers and cut and thrust swords by John Clements. Weaponry, an illustrated history, quite well um, versed, a good general reference book by, uh, uh, and made done by Chuck, sorry, Chuck Wills in association with the Berman Museum. Oh, this is a big one. The Encyclopedia of Modern Military Weapons, the Comprehensive Guide to Over a Thousand Weapon Systems from 1945 to the Present Day. I don't have many modern weapons references, but that's a comprehensive one. The Complete Encyclopedia of Knives by A. E. Hartink. Weapon, a visual history of arms and armor, also a good general reference. The Crossbow by Sir Ralph Payne Galway, the singer most important reference book ever written on the crossbow. Castles and castle towns of Great Britain, quite useful if you are a resident of the UK. The Illustrated Guide to Arms and Armor by Stephen Bull and Tony North. And lastly, uh, a big well, a big blue book, which looks rather dull. 100 Great Guns by Merrill Lindsay, which is just full. Let me find some for you. Of references on firearms and their construction, from photographs to some really nice woodcuts. I recommend this book. It is quite, quite good. So, there you go. My weapons and reference collection library. I hope that you enjoyed it. People have requested it in the past, and there you go.